think Star Wars is such a part of people's lives and it's something that they just see now on a regular basis that when you uh, say George Lucas and he created it, I don't think people give enough full value to what that means. Um, I like to think I do, but I worked with him. So I've seen him create it. I've seen the person that uh, comes up with the lines and the dialogue and understands Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker in a very deep level because those characters are a part of him. And, and for my part, you know, joining Lucasfilm, I always respected that. It, I never felt that Star Wars is something that was mine. I felt privileged to be a part of telling the story. I felt grateful that I got to do it with George. The Mandalorian, it's interesting. I mean, we all know the helmet but the helmet is Boba Fett. And that was a big challenge in the beginning of this. And John and I went round and round like, well, how do we tell the story? And it's not Boba Fett or is it Boba Fett, <laughs> you know? And we would talk about that and, you know, but a helmet at the end of the day is a helmet. And I've shown that helmet quite a bit on Rebels and Clone Wars. And so there are fans that get the language of it, that it's, you know, a tool, it's a piece of equipment. But to the average person, if you show them that helmet, if they say anything, they'll say it's Boba Fett. So we immediately started to draw visual you know, differences between the two characters. Our character is much more bulked up than Boba ever was. His armor is actually quite different if you look at it. His helmet's actually different, little different traits to it. The colors of it, you know, all these things point out at little differences. There are similarities, which are almost unavoidable, but we wanted to tell a story with somebody where we had kind of more of a blank page to write it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really, for me, I felt with the pilot, my job was to show this guy as he is, as he has been, a hardened, kind of weather-beaten person that, you know, has been through things we can't imagine and is just doing a job. And his job is hunting down beings and turning them in. The consequences of that, the morality of it, I get paid, you know, and the pilot slowly chips away at that idea, especially when he meets the Ugnaught. And this little, you know, being is suddenly helping him and then challenging him. And I think it starts to make the gears in Mando's head wonder, what am I doing here and where is my line? What I've lost this idea of, you know, being a mercenary or being a person. I mean, I just think the key is you hire good people. You can get up caught up in what their talents are. I mean, obviously, to have done the work that they've all done, they're all really talented. But the big difference is what kind of person are you? And they're all just really wonderful people that are easy to get along with, easy to work with. We all get in a room, and I think because like this is so new to many of us that we all kind of get together on it and it becomes a real team thing.